Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I am filming with a brand new camera today. If something is off, let me know. Then I can go ahead and adjust everything on this camera. So today I am doing Tokyo Treats. And I know I don't normally open this on camera simply because I'm too tempted to eat everything that comes in here. But this month I made an exception due to things that are currently going on. This is a monthly subscription from Tokyo Treat. That is the name of the company. I know that kind of sounds a little weird saying it, but it's the name of the company and the name of the box. This is $30. $35 a month if you do do the monthly plan and it's often good to go ahead and do that to try it see if you like it they do do promotions where if you sign up for three six or twelve months you get an extra prize or prizes depending upon what the what that particular month option is so yeah so let's go ahead and dive right on in. Now normally the shipping is free. They do have add-ons such as insurance for $3 and tracking for 5 or combining them and it is actually $7. But due to the fact that they do have some shipping restrictions with Tokyo Mail, they are doing DHL which is typically ten dollars and ninety five cents but if you already get this box and you already get either the tracking or the insurance or both they go ahead and deduct that amount and put it towards shipping the box via DHL so you can pay anywhere from seven dollars and ninety five cents to $5.95 or $3.95 depending upon which of the, th the three plans you have for the shipping. So let's go ahead and open this right on up. And this is July's box. So that's another reason why I decided to do this. It's always packed so very nicely so that everything fits and nothing actually gets crushed. So, despite the fact that you do get a bottle of pop in here sometimes, so that is actually very great. And here is the booklet. It is Summer Munchies. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Now I'm not doing this to get a sneak peek. I am doing this because some of the items don't have an English translation on the actual bag itself. So I'm going to pull up the first thing I see and that is a bag of Doritos. And we could have gotten one of three flavors. Either mild salt, which is what I have here, nacho cheese, or soy sauce and wasabi. I'm glad I got this one because I don't think I could have handled the soy sauce and wasabi. So yeah, a great one. I can't wait to actually dive into this bag. Okay, the next item up is minty animals and I do have the little piggy mm -hmm. and could have gotten either a pig or a panda uh, mighty and minty these cute animals contain some refreshing easy to enjoy mints that are the best thing when you need a fresh burst of Japanese mint flavors. So, I always love these little packets. Okay. 
Okay, I'll save this one because... Oh, no. Next is a Rilakkuma Red Apple Gummy. That is quite cute. Time for a lazy summer treat. Rilakkuma gummies are having a relaxing time with you. Try either tasty and chewy. Che ah, I'm sorry. Chewy red or green apple gummies. Okay. So these are always good to get. Now they, if they come in a set, they will sometimes give you the entire package. Or they'll just give you a little taste. And then in a few months, they will actually have a bigger container with said items in there. So this gives you a little taste to see if you actually like it. Okay. Next up. that one to the side because I can't quite find that one on here. And next one is a bag of popcorn. Oop. It was so popping, it just popped right out of my hand. I may need to get another light. Normally I have the issue of it's too bright, I need to turn off the light. I may need to get another light. So this is salty popcorn. So, can't wait to try this. I've never gotten regular popcorn in this box. Up next is corn potage bites. Light and fluffy, like summer clouds but way more crunchy. These salty and summery snacks are the best light snacks to have on a hot summer's day. So I have had some corn potages snacks before and they are pretty good. So the next item in here are Japanese squid crackers. These I may find somebody to take off my hands. Okay. Next up is a strawberry daifuki. Strawberries are the best sweet and sour summer refresher. And the summer paste in this fluffy daifuki, mar daifuki marshmallow will help wipe away any summer stress. Now their fruit flavors are on point. They never taste artificial. That is why I do like the fruit items from these boxes. Marwaki orange gum. So it's a little pack of gum. It sounds like they're probably chiclet sized. There's probably at least two or three in here. Okay. Porky corn salty snacks can be a refreshing snack for the hot weather. These corn potage pokey pretzel sticks are refreshing, crunchy, and easy to eat summer snack. So this one I may actually eat myself. A lot of these I do get rid of because the coating, I just can't t stand the coating sometimes. But that is to an individual taste. Okay, next up are Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong item. Sorry, sometimes these packages look alike. This is the porky co corn. Poricky. So that's this. 
This is a lemon uma boy boyo classic Japanese childhood favorite is here in this summer exclusive. The sweet corn snack has a gentle sourness with its lemon flavor and crunchy corn texture. Now this one is either hit or miss for me. I don't really like the savory ones. I tend to go more for the fruity and the sweet ones. Okay. And next up, ooh, it's actually a bo box of juice. Okay, so Kagomi Akinawan Citrus Mix be transported to the tropical island of Okinawa. Sorry, I'm just shaking it to see if I hear any movement. What they will often do with items like this that they know that they're going to be shipped out, they will either underfill or overfill. And this one is completely full. You cannot hear any juice moving in this box. So if you do get a bottle of pop, if you look at it and you take another bottle of pop that is the same exact size, you will often notice, yeah, there is a little bit less, but that is so that the carbonation has enough room to go ahead and fill up the bottle because these boxes go through their mail system in Japan, which there is often no problem with that, but it is once it gets to other regions. The U.S. Postal Service is rough on boxes, so yeah. They do it so that nothing happens with the products, and I do appreciate that. Because it's either that or the bottle of pop has been shaken so much that the pressure has built up and it's blown its top and everything's ruined in the, the box and you end up with a sticky, swampy, and if it's summer or spring or fall, a bug, and fill, bug infested box. So I do like the fact that they do look out for that. Next up, it is a Festival Sign Choco, so this is a piece of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And on the back, it does have something printed on the container. So I'm assuming that the chocolate probably has the same imprint on it. Nothing screams Japan more than a summer festival, this bite-sized chocolate is a is super tasty and it comes with a festival stall sticker so you can keep a summer memory with you forever. I like that. Ooh, another thing of chocolate. Poppin' Shower Chocolate from Baskin Robbins. Summer is the time for ice cream. Baskin Robbins released chocolate based on Japan's most popular flavor. Poppin' Shower. Poppin' Candy adds a fun element to the sweet and creamy chocolate. Ooh, that'll be really interesting to eat. And you can tell this is Japanese, and it does state on here, for sale in Japan only. Now, technically, they did not sell me this. It came in a subscription, so they didn't do anything wrong. Ooh, my next favorite item. It is a bag of Kit Kats. Ooh. And this month's flavor is Citrus Mint. Now, I do like the fact that I get a, when I get a bag of Kit Kats, there is most often 11 pieces in here. So, that just makes it so much easier to get a good taste for it so if you do see it in their shop you can go ahead and purchase it next up are gummy lips and I guess that is kind of self-explanatory they're gummy lips 
Let me see what flavor these are supposed to be. Ooh, ooh grape. Perfect. I love the grape flavoring. It tastes like I am literally eating a grape. Let me put some of these back into here. Keep the chocolate in the drawer. Chocolate items out, so I put those into my fridge. Okay, now they do include sometimes a mystery treat, so this will vary between boxes. So this is a treat that was once offered once before, and they probably just had an overstock of this item. So yeah, production sell by is nine twenty of twenty twenty one. So I think I saw this in a previous box from this year. And the last item in here, ooh, it is a DIY, and it is a boba tea matcha milk. Okay, so I've never had Bulba, so this will actually give me a chance to actually try it. That is too cool. And it is a plastic container, so if you don't crack it, you can go ahead and probably wash it out and reuse it. I do like that idea. So that is too cool. Uh, Bulba Madness is still strong in Japan, and we're bringing a piece of this craze to you in this summer with this DIY matcha milk treat that you can enjoy hot or over ice. That is too cool, and they do include the instructions on how to make it. That is great. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, here is a picture of all of the items. Now they do have two sizes of boxes. I get the premium, which means I get everything. They do have a classic box, but I have never looked at it. Mm -hmm. To really see what the price is they really do go with the premium because you get more for your money and yeah this is well over $35 worth of items in here so yeah that's why I keep sticking with this one I'm trying to put this back together which is not always the easiest thing to do Okay, there we go. But, yeah, that was Tokyo Treat for the month of July. You can still get this box if you order by 10 a.m. on June 30th. And that is Central Standard Time. Now, the reason why I say 10 a.m., it is due to the fact that this does switch over Japanese time and that is what I have calculated out because I have gone at 10 a.m. to renew and whatever they were offering is no longer being offered for free items. If you do sign up for a 3, 6, or 12 month period they are offering Starbucks items as the freebies. So, yeah, definitely a great treat box. Gives you a nice hint of Japanese treats and drinks. So, until next time, keep on reading and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye!